your crash that you have is so severe you're not glad you did the bike ride that day then uh that's a problem it's okay to be a little stupid sometimes just don't get hurt you make a bad decision every now and then. Oh, I didn't realize that that was up. I thought that was blocking the path, but they've scraped it all out now. Dang. I missed a little bitty funsy part. Just a little bit of fun. I lost, I lost an ounce of fun. See, I wasn't in the moment. That's what I'm talking about. I was in a different moment. No, I just thought it was still blocked. Actually, that doesn't look fun at all. Like, you can get some trouble down there. And they shouldn't have unblocked that yet because they don't have it all the way scraped. I wonder if people get stuck down there on scooters. We've got these little rental scooters. I know for a fact they're not strong enough to get you back up that hill. <laughs> Yay, we went down the hill, and I guess now we're walking our little rental scooter back up the hill because... Nuh-uh. <laughs> we'll do this. For funsies. That was actually pretty smooth. That went down smooth like a find bowling drink instead of going up that way. You know what though? I'm thinking I want to go around this way. See if I can get over the Broadway Boulevard from here. Or not Broadway, but uh, Riverside Drive. Yeah. I didn't realize how quickly these connected. Looks like this is a right turn only which we are not doing. We're gonna do a little traffic hack. Safe, stupid but safe. There we go. the stop sign I'm going to check my battery indicator I probably should have did that at that stop light see how my top battery is doing see if it's down to one bubble now I'm at two two is plenty got no one behind me right now I'm losing a little performance now. Getting a little bit of 
a little bit of tiredness from the batteries. See, so I'm topping out at right around 29.30. Just means it's almost time to go home. No flat tires, no, no crashes so far. Couldn't ask for more than that. Didn't encounter any e-bikes today. I guess on the rare e-bike enthusiast who does not give a single crap of what the weather is. I do though, I'm careful in the wet. I'm wearing my pads in the wet. But uh, if it ain't wet, I usually don't wear pads. Not on an e-bicycle. If I was going any quicker, I'd probably just wear pads all the time. do one more bike trail and then we'll be home this is a very small bicycle trail it's pretty much a straight shot too I think we'll do this one on three considering two has got a little more drag than it did earlier Two is usually 14, not 12, and uh, three is usually 19, not 16. So my batteries are definitely feeling a little something, something. Top battery check. Two bubs still. Should get home with two bubbles on the top battery, no problem. Pretty sure this trip, I've done this trip before, and it's 34 miles grand total. Which, you know, that's not the greatest e-bike ride ever. In this, you know, distance-wise. Depends on how you value things. For me, this is all I could ask for out of a Saturday. I, I don't want anything more from this Saturday, thanks. Uh, it's been pretty good. <laughs> Having a very nice Saturday, thank you very much.
I could actually motor off to my left and get home a lot faster. But that's not really the goal. You got to have goals. My goal is beautiful bike ride, beautiful Saturday. I think I'm nailing it. Thanks for joining me today. We're still a little ways from the house, but for those of you who watched the video this far, I think you're a little crazy, but that's okay. There's a little crazy in everybody. As Seal once put it, you can never survive unless you are a little crazy. A little crazy. Like that. That was not a death wobble. This is me having fun. Probably do not attempt disclaimer goes here. Battery meter says one on the top. Top speed of 29 at the moment. I should probably check the top battery and see how it's doing. Top battery two. Bottom battery can't see. It's too bright out here. Bright and beautiful day. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Won't you be mine? Won't you be mine? Here we go. I don't even know what my new HVAC unit looks like. I'm going to pull up to the side of my house and look at it real quick. I don't know if I'll catch on video or not, but we just got a brand new Coleman. Because our old Goodman gave it out. I think it's Coleman. Go look at it, find out. This guy. Never seen it before. Carrier, it's a carrier. That's what it is. Got a new carrier system after our Goodman system gave out. Roll around my house here. Try not to die. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Hopefully you guys have a beautiful Saturday. I know I have. The sun is still pretty high right now, but that was 34 miles. I think I'm good. I might go out later on tonight, but I kind of doubt it. This was a great ride. End on a high note. Take care, people. If you don't have an e-bike, get an e-bike. If you do get an e-bike, I highly recommend any aerial rider. 
e-bike. The Rideal, the X-Class 52 volt, the Grizzly. I think they're sold out of the 48 volt right now. The D-Class. I'm telling you, they make a... You, you can't go wrong. It's it's the best thing for your buck is these aerial rider e-bikes. I mean, there's other e-bikes out there just as expensive, much lower quality. There's other e-bikes out there much more expensive, similar quality. So I'll tell you what, aerial rider is almost like... Granted, you might not get the bike of your absolute dreams, which costs $12,000. But you will have a dang good e-bike. Okay, I think that's everything I want to say today. Take care, people. Later.